Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. I'm Nobu. And today we are going to be watching Kill Bill Volume 1. So, we actually have both seen this movie, but we're doing our uh, Tarantino watch through. Uh, we watched this movie at the beginning of the channel. We did a reaction to this movie at the beginning of the channel, but I... Basically, long story short, we had this hard drive, and the hard drive like got corrupted, and so all we lost all the files on there, so we lost this reaction. So we're going to be doing a reaction. It's just not a first-time reaction to it, and then we're going to be watching part two, which neither of us have seen, um, which is really cool. So we're just doing our Tarantino movies. I'm very excited uh, to watch this in context. Uh, dude, I really get a kick out of doing it. Like, we started doing this just kind of for YouTube, but the more we do this, whether it's for animation or Tarantino movies or whatever, I really enjoy doing like the same type of movie almost back to back to back mm -hmm. to be able to, I feel like properly compare and, and critique it a little bit. Yeah. 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 It's cool to kind of see the, you know, um, the differences. And yeah. So I'm, I'm excited to see how this kind of stands up compared to other Tarantino movies. I honestly think his style might work the best with these kinds of movies. So yeah. Um, as always full length reactions up with Patreon. the next week's reaction to kill Bill volume two is up for early access. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, and yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you're new here, uh, welcome. Hopefully you stick around. And all that being said, let's just get into Kill Bill Volume 1. Also, I don't know if you remember in Pulp Fiction when Uma Thurman is talking about being in a movie called Fox or a show called Fox Force 5. Yeah, 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 I remember. All of the characters that she describes can be loosely tied to Kill Bill. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's like, oh, she's in a group of all these people. There's all the different, there's the Kung Fu special, like all of them. And it's all the characters from the group in Kill Bill. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's such a visceral shot. Yeah, I gotta, I don't know how much I remember. Don't remember the initial start. I'd like to believe you're aware enough, even now. No, kiddo. At this moment, this is me and my most masochistic. Well, it's your baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still one of the best movie openings of all time. I was five and he was six. Seasons came and changed the. <laughs> I like the way they do these credits. It's cool. I love the stark contrast of the color too. It's very saturated yeah. compared to the black and white. Dang. Oh. <laughs> the fighting is insane. Oh. Holy. Dang. I forgot how like. It's very like a little anime. I don't know. Uh oh. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, bro, look what you just did. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> the editing is so on point. Yeah. <laughs> that good for nothing dog of yours got his little ass in the living room and acted a damn fool that's what happened <laughs> this baby now you can't come in here there's broken glass everywhere and you could cut yourself why is there blood all over <laughs> the dog went real crazy <laughs> such a pretty name for such a pretty girl <laughs> how old are you Nikki Mickey 
just your question. <laughs> I'm four. Four? I had a little girl once. She'd be about four now. Hmm. You want some coffee? <laughs> yeah, sure. You recognize Uma Thurman, right? From, from uh, Pulp Fiction? That's the same actress? Yeah. This it, Pasadena homemaker's name is Jeannie Bell. Her husband is Dr. Lawrence Bell. That's being more rational than Bill led me to believe you were capable of. It's mercy, compassion, and forgiveness I lack. <laughs> Such a great line. I know I fucked you over. I fucked you over bad. I wish to God I hadn't, but I did. <sighs> to get even, even Stephen, I would have to kill you. Go up to Nikki's room, kill her. Then wait for your husband, the good Dr. Bell, to come home again. Yeah, she's not even looking for... If I could go back in a machine, I would. But I can't. Just because I have no wish to murder you before the eyes of your daughter does not mean that parading her around in front of me is going to inspire sympathy. <laughs> it all depends. When do you want to die? <laughs> Tomorrow. That's such a cool. I'm sorry. I'm not laughing, but the writing is just so great. There. There's a baseball diamond where I coach our little league about a mile. <laughs> I have to fix Nikki's cereal. Bill always said you're one of the best ladies he ever saw with an edge weapon. So you can just kiss my motherfucking ass, Black Mamba. <laughs> Mamba. I should have been my. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, bitch. Very funny. Thank goodness you're a terrible shot. <sighs> it's not my intention to do this in front of you. But you can take my word for it. When you grow up, if you still feel raw about it. I was like a, uh, I was like a villain. Yeah, I was saying like a, not origin story, but you know the way that she said, "Come find me after." Like, yeah, like, it's like the beginning of uh, another person's, you know, story. That's why they should make a third one, man. Wait, what chapter were we on? I thought it was two. I thought we were on two. Already. I like how we're combining the different aesthetics. We got a little bit of Western, we got a little bit of. Japanese. Yeah, it's interesting. It's just cool. <laughs> I love little stuff like that. Like even the fact that he has more than one sunglasses on his dashboard. Mm -hmm. I think that's such a subtle little character thing. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Without having to say absolutely yeah. anything. We walked out the whole wedding party execution style. Nine dead bodies. Can you imagine in a small town like that? Well, that would be kind of crazy. Crazy. What'd I tell you, Pop? So many bullets like say. Goddamn Nicaraguan deaths. Yeah, well, I mean, they got. Shit can that grass me, boy. You know how it's worth it. Sorry, Pop. Who's Brian? Don't know. The name on the marriage certificate is Arlene Machiavelli. That's a fake. Yeah. Yeah, if I ever heard one. Man, it'd be a mad dog. She'd have. Damn good looking guy like that in the head. She, wait, she got shot in the head? Yeah. She's a little blood spattered angel. Oof. Well, she'd be alive. Number one? Yeah. yeah. It's a tall drinker. Cocksucker ain't dead. Yeah, you better rush her to a hospital, man. I 
everything about it has that vibe. Yeah, you know? but not too much. He he's like created this like slightly hyper realistic world, and it's really cool. I really like that. I like how she changed her patch with the cross on it. Yeah. <laughs> I might never have liked you. When in fact, I dis- But that shouldn't suggest that I don't respect you. Which is why this is such a gutless way to kill her. It's a luxury that our kind is rarely a well, I mean, I guess if she's thinking it's a luxury, then... I guess. I feel like it's so dishonorable. Now you're going to abort the mission. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't owe her shit! Will you keep your voice down? You don't owe her shit! <laughs> May I say, you all beat the hell out of that woman, but you didn't kill her. Now, you saw that yourself with your own beautiful blue eye. And if she ever wakes up, we'll do a whole lot more. Yeah. You sneak into her room in the night like a filthy rat and kill her in her sleep. If she survived this long, you almost owe it to her. That thing is because that thing would lower us. Do you really have to guess? No, I don't really have to guess. She's like a kid. No. Come on home. Affirmative. That's an interesting perspective. Like, that would lower us. It is interesting. Because, like... Word of advice, shithead. Don't you ever wake up. <laughs> I love how before she gets this thing, she's like, Oh, I'm just helping you out. I'm gonna let you sleep and die quietly. And then after, she's like, You... <laughs> That's cool. Dang. Shock. Wow. That's really cool. Jeez, that's horrible, man. How did she know that? I don't know. I think, I think, is that like a little bit of like, like fantasy elements to it? I suppose you would call it fiction anyway. Yo, is she like looking at her hand? Yeah, I think so. Price is $75 a fuck, my friend. Uh, it's so disgusting, man. Oh, yeah. But spit or no, no punching. Now we absolutely positively clear on rule number one? Yeah. Good. Now, rule number two? Is that a thing that you spit in, in a coma? No kind. After that, that's it's crazy. All good. Never heard of that. Not all the time, but sometimes this chick's cooch can get dry in a bucket of sand. If she dry, just lube up with this. No. <laughs> Bone appetite, good buddy. So how many people have like raped her? Yeah, Not I to mean, get into it, but it, the that, implication yeah. is several. Yes. Yeah. I'm, oh I'm my sure gosh, like that's so horrible. <laughs> 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 You deserve that one, buddy. Dang. Oh. Oof. I was gonna say, you're jumping out of- No, no motor quick. function. Yeah, be careful, bro. Did she kill that guy? I guess so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that would be crazy. Oh yeah, you're screwed. I love that. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Where's Bill? <laughs> I don't think he knows. Yeah. I don't know who Bill is. Oh shit! Gosh. Oh, we don't know shit about you. Well, dude. I'm from Huntsville, Texas. My name is Bucks. And I'm here to fuck. Okay, that's just stupid. 
Your name is Bob. You have like a tagline? Like, what the, wait, like, what is that? <laughs> and you came here to fuck. Right? Wait a minute. Wait. Ooh. Yeah, it all makes sense now. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to miss. Yeah, good thing. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, you know, stands out. I think Tarantino has this car. <laughs> really? I think so. Because I assume you would have to make this custom. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what about it makes it more crazy, but I like that that Uma Thurman also isn't like she's not like crazy jacked or anything. Like she's not this huge, mm -hmm. uh, and that adds to the whole kind of like kung fu specialist feel of everything almost. Wiggle your big toe. Wiggle your big toe. As I lay in the back of Buck's truck, trying to will my limbs out of entropy. Wiggle your big could see the faces of the cunts who did this to me and the dicks responsible mm. michael madsen yeah. <laughs> of the deadly viper assassination squad <laughs> that's such a cool shot that was a cool shot something as violent and ugly as revenge it seems proof like no other that not only does god exist you're doing his will <laughs> the first name on my death list Oren Ishii. Yeah, because it's it's weird because the chapters are out of order, right? Mm -hmm. Because like chapter one, she had already killed Oren Ishii. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Was that chapter one or, I, or I whatever was that was? Yeah, chapter the first, two, right? Yeah. She witnessed the death of her parents at the hands of Japan's most ruthless yakuza boss, Boss Matsumoto. <laughs> This is so cool. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. I love this animation. I would kill for Tarantino to do something animated. Are you kidding me? That would be interesting. <laughs> it's really well animated, yeah. too. Actually, this is incredible animation. The physics and stuff and the frames. Oh. There's got to be some anime inspiration here, I feel like. Oh, no, this is, this is straight For anime. sure, yeah. yeah. It is, it is. Like... <laughs> That's so cool. Wait, that's not the that's not the boss guy. No, yeah, no, no, it's not. Moto. It's not. That's good. Him. Dig. That's awesome. That is pretty That's such an efficient origin story. And the fact that they do it in the animation and stuff. Boss Matsumoto was a pedophile. Dang. And she got her revenge. <laughs> Dang! 
Oh, that was sick, though. She was one of the top female assassins in the world. I mean, yeah. <laughs> She's not even crouching or anything. She's just shooting from the shoulder. <laughs> Dang, that's so sick. In a small wedding chapel in El Paso, Texas, she made one big mistake. She should have killed ten. <laughs> Before I like how they show that from mind. her perspective as animation as well. First things that's first. Cool. Oh, I love that they're sticking with the song. I like it. English? Almost. American. American. Welcome away. Domo. My English very good. <laughs> He's just like, oh, I gotta show off. I wanna show you. What other words did you learn? Ah, yo, Kekson. Agari cho, tell me all, show me. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. <laughs> Shut up! Get your ass out of here! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I love this guy. Arigato. Arigato. Good. <laughs> um, That's all I know. Uh, I already said domo, right? Oh, yeah. She asked that. Konnichiwa? Uh, 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 uh. Close. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Please repeat. You say Japanese words like you Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Serious business. <laughs> Conversation. <laughs> this guy's so, like, charming. We say arigato. <laughs> <laughs> you should learn Japanese. Very easy. Yeah, isn't it like one of the That's hardest lot, languages yeah. to learn? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes. Um, a bottle of warm sake, please. Warm sake? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, she really is one of us. Okay. okay, bro, you're watching soap operas in the middle of the day. Get over it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you have a friend living in Okinawa? Not quite. Hattori Hanzo. Hattori Hanzo ni ittai nan no yo desu ka? Nihon to ka itsu yo. Ittai nihon to nan ni tsukaru desu ka? <laughs> I like how you can see a switch up and even like the the tone of like the dialogue. Yes, you know? yes. And obviously the subtle storytelling where it's like she doesn't know how to speak any Japanese and then like perfectly speaks. Well, I don't know about perfectly. But yeah. It, speaks well what she needs to know. Yeah. And like him kind of like before kind of like, how should I say, speaking a little bit like, um. You know, like you're speaking to a foreigner or something. Yeah, of course. Up to of like course. if you're speaking to someone normal. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I didn't. I didn't know that detail. That's cool. <laughs> I like this little. It's interesting. It's this beautiful. little moment of like appreciating the art or something of it. No, seriously, they're. He has like weirdly beautiful movies, uh, beautiful moments in this movie. Um, even even with uh, uh, Oren Ishii. <laughs> you like a samurai sword. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. He's retired now. 
誇りを持っておる私はもう引退しておる Why should I help? Because my vermin is a former student of yours Oh, yeah I'd say you have a rather large obligation Yeah, come on, you, that has to be a stain on your honor Oh, Bill was a student of his? I thought they were referring to, um... Oh, Renny Shi? Yeah. I think they're... Now, I actually have no idea, but I always kind of got the impression that they were almost his students, Bill's students. Maybe not. So Bill was taught the people under him, you're saying? Yeah, kind of, okay, in, a, in a way. So Maybe he... I'm wrong, but I always kind of got that impression. Oh, okay. Interesting. I love the music choices, man. It has the same... Um... That's so cool. <laughs> I like this really spiritual vibe that they got going on here. It's it's almost like he respects this instrument of death. Yeah. And and respects what he creates it for, which is really cool. The pretty lady to Oren's right, who's dressed like she's a villain on <laughs> best friend and second lieutenant. The half French, half Japanese Sophie Fatal. Seventeen year old Gogo Yubari. Gogo may be young, but what she lacks in age, she makes up for in madness. <laughs> Dang. This is anime as it gets. <laughs> Gosh, Dang. dude. This poor guy. The bald guy in the black suit and the Kato mask is Johnny Mo, the head general of Oren's personal army, the Crazy 88. And what boss Tanaka thinks is... <laughs> She's not like pure blood or something? Probably. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, bro, we're having a party out here. Like, <laughs> freaking. Let's hear it, bro. <laughs> Dang. Anyone got any complaints now? <laughs> Clean your <laughs> blade. <laughs> Doesn't. As your leader, I encourage you from time to time, and always in a respectful manner, to question my logic. But allow me to convince you, and I promise you right here and now, no subject will ever be taboo. Except, of course, the subject that was just under discussion. The price you pay for bringing up either my Chinese or American heritage as a negative is, I collect your fucking head. Here. Now, if any of you sons of bitches got anything else to say, now's the fucking time! I didn't think so. Ding. That's a cool shot. 
restaurant. That is a really it good It reminds song. me of uh, Spielberg, I think. It right? does. Was the one that did that. His music choices in this are so interesting, too, because he takes some of the, like, uh, wood instruments that are, like, more Eastern inspired, but then you also get this, like, jazz feel to some of this, or even some Western vibes. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, very, it's a very interesting, like... <laughs> Red Apple cigarettes. Hey. I mean... Who says they're not uh, enough strong female characters? Uh, <laughs> uh, just look at this awesome movie, please. Thank you. <laughs> I really like the bright yellow. It's, really it's cool. cool. You wouldn't think so, but like, it, it fits. And it, it works. It's almost like a thing for her character, too, because of the the uh, truck, too, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, did he hear her? She oh no, she was there. Oh yeah. I still like how Oreni she is like like a little bit traditional too with the like. Oh no, she's very yeah, and stuff, yeah, which is cool. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, bro. The way that they're acting, yeah, you don't have to be the yakuza for, <laughs> for them to act like that. <laughs> you just have to be a customer. Oh, hey, we're oh, yeah. already here. I'm really excited to see this, uh, this whole sequence again. I I can't remember exactly the story, but I'm pretty sure the band playing down there, like, I think Tarantino just heard them and liked them and then just, like, demanded that they were in the movie for no reason. He was like, oh, let's just have this band here because I really like them. Hey, <laughs> Which you is know, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Move. She's so slow. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry. Okay. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> Thank goodness we got that band there. I feel bad for these people. <laughs> He's like, I got, I'm sorry, honey. He's like, no. <laughs> I don't know if you want to go in that bathroom. We're going in. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. You can take her. She doesn't know how to fight. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Gosh, holy, she just waited for her to come out. <laughs> the red and the yellow, dude. It's so stark. <laughs> the sound effects. No, oh, what the? I mean, Hanzo, Hattori Hanzo said it was the best thing he's ever made, so. And they don't have Hattori Hanzo swords, I'm sure. And the skills with the swords are yeah. probably not as good, so. Ooh. 
<laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> that was cool. The way they use the silence, there's no noise, there's nothing. Any more subordinates for me to kill? <laughs> yeah. Hi. <laughs> I know you feel you must protect your mistress. But I beg you. Walk away. <laughs> I like how she gives the, like a children a chance almost. <laughs> the skill to wield that, too. Dang. <laughs> uh oh. Dang. She, she uses it exactly how you use a, a rope and dart. That's what I was, that's literally what I was thinking. Ooh. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, <laughs> Now it's all oh, yeah, oh my gosh. serious. Oh, oh gosh. Gosh. I don't even want to see that. That's brutal. <laughs> well, they are called the crazy eighty eight. <laughs> Is that lady still there? What the heck? <laughs> you didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? You know, for a second there? Yeah, I kind of did. <laughs> Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. <laughs> That's true too, because he wasn't there. I actually forgot about that. That's like the general, and he wasn't there. Jubals. Mm. <laughs> Here we go. I love the set piece with the little garden and everything in the yeah, in the floor. It's so cool. Dang, bro. Oh. Do you think the way they do the blood is a little bit a reference to like anime and and certain Dang. movies? It might be cuz it's different than his other movies. Could be a reference to like the older Japanese. Like, That's what I was thinking, and, right? Like, yeah. Holy! Whoa! <laughs> she caught it too. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I am actually so glad they did this in black and white. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> oh, that was oh. so cool. The choreography is awesome. It's so clean. And she's doing it, most of it anyway. Yeah, you. Uh, 
don't know if there's a way out of this. Oh, we got two swords. You did each you do. Dang. Holy break dance. Dude. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that is so cool. I completely forgot about this part. This is so cool. That's so cool. She used his arm to stab the other guy. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Whoa, that was so cool. Ooh, gosh. Okay, did she really kill 88 people? Like, does anybody know if they actually had 88 deaths? I feel like... I feel like that would be a thing. Like Tarantino would do I feel that, like you know? he would do that too. And it's, it seemed like it. Oh yeah. The coloring. Look at that. From the warm light to the cold. Your instrument is quite impressive. Instrument? What, what are you talking about? What about me? Like... <laughs> this is Hattori Hanzo steel. Usotsuke! Oh, She's changing fighting styles, right? Yeah. <laughs> Dang. 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 She got her good. Silly Caucasian girl likes to play with samurai sword. You may not be able to fight like a samurai, but you can at least die like <laughs> a samurai. <laughs> She hit you with the come at me. <laughs> oh, I love that shot. Yeah, I like the uh, the little water thing. I like all the the snow like coming down. It's very like gentle, but in like a, such a such a gruesome like such a beautiful way though. Weirdly. Dang. Dang. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dang. That was that was really cool. <laughs> that was really cool. It's beautiful. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, it is like beautiful in a way. It is. As I said before, I've allowed you to keep your wicked life for two reasons. So you can tell him in person everything that happened to you. Hmm. 
by wanting to witness the extent of my mercy by witnessing your deformed body. And I want them all to know they'll all soon be as dead. As we're going to keep it real clear. That woman deserves her revenge. We deserve to die. I like how we're going through each of the yeah. people. Is she aware her daughter is still alive? <laughs> but what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. How did she survive, right? We don't know what happened after she woke up. They could have delivered the baby. I guess so. But wasn't <laughs> she... How long was she there? We don't know. She was comatose. That's all we know. It just cut from her being... That's true. In, That's true. Right? So she was comatose. So I... I, I mean, look, it's... I don't know how realistic this movie was is, but but I I actually think that might follow... Yeah, I mean, if you were comatose, got... I think you could still save the baby. Yeah, yeah. And she doesn't know any better because she she doesn't know. She just woke up four years later and has no baby. So That's she true. assumes the baby died. Interesting. I totally didn't remember that at the end. <laughs> This that's that is such a great movie. I love that movie. That is that is a solid movie. I think that I might be say. one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Tarantino movie. Yeah, I, I really. No, I want to see movie. part two because I feel like you got to put them together well, to really yeah. like like judge it. But really? but I, I loved is. how. Yeah, I think you can still, you know, separate the two. It's like no, but I mean, like judging the overall story. You know no, I mean, I, mean like, I guess yeah, the overall story. Yeah, you know, you want to see how the showdown goes. Mm -hmm. But this movie is so cool. It's got such style. And I think the, like, Japanese aesthetic works really well for Tarantino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he likes the, he likes that Western and the um, Asian kind of, like, aesthetic. He doesn't do as much, though, in his other movies with the Asian aesthetic. Not nearly as much. So it's really yeah, cool to see him really. flex that in this movie. Because he true. goes all out. And he does it well, too. It's not just he does it because it's cool. It's like, nah, the whole... Like you were saying about the sword and everything, right? It's like mm -hmm. he really leans into the culture and the respect and the kind of beauty of... Like... Well, yeah. I mean, what he does find cool, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is aesthetic and it's... it's. He does it well, though, I guess. Yeah, he, he likes to... Because he's one of those directors where I think, like, he'll do something and then they'll be like, but why? Because like, like, it was cool. cool. <laughs> you know, like, this I is feel true. like that's that vibe that I get from him. But that, that works in this kind it of It does movie. work, um, the certain, you know, the certain things that he does take from and, like, the vibes and stuff like that he sets for, like, the story. His aesthetic and what he likes um, fits. And I like... And I know this is just, I know different people think different things. Like, I know you guys kind of went off in the comments and stuff. I get it. But we're going to have different opinions. But I like how this movie has a, just like Django, I think I like how there's a driving force to it. Yeah. And I, I think I enjoy Tarantino when he does that. I think yeah. that's when I think he's at his best. No, of course. Um, when there's a little bit more of like a central motivation. And then you could also do all the cool Tarantinoisms along the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's why I think everything this movie sticks out to me, where it's like, okay, dude, it's a revenge story. It's pretty simple, but it's still, we know what this is. It's a revenge story, and we're going to check these people off the list. Yeah, yeah. It is, you know, just, yeah, as far as my own my own tastes, like, I like this type of stuff a lot better. I also it's really very, like the Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a sucker for that. Um, but just overall, like, you know, technicals and things like that. Like, of a story, like, I like the the sort of central goal mm. that we're revolving around, you know? Yeah. Um, because ultimately that makes it a lot harder to do. Um, even though it seems very simple to have a sort of rule set or something like, for example, when you have a central theme in order to kind of like have everything be there for a reason and revolve around that mm. it is much harder to do than you know something not as centralized yeah 
Um, and so I think that he does, you know, some of his best work when there is that sort of like um, specific goal or whatever. Yeah. And it's just such a cool character. Like, like the bride is such a cool character. Bill, just the fact that they don't show Bill the entire movie. Yeah. That's such a, such a great idea. Yeah. Uh, just the way that the tension is built and stuff like that. It's, it's super cool. Yeah, it is. The, the, the choreography and stuff is, is really well done. It is. Yeah. And I feel like she did a lot of it. Yeah. 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 No, for sure. If she did, um, do like a, a decent majority of it, like, uh, Hey man, credit to her because that was some that was some of the craziest stuff I've seen. Yeah, you know, freaking. And I like the the other thing is like, it's like, it's got a sort of gritty vibe, mm-hmm. but it's like not realistic. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's got a very um, kind of like you were saying, like a comic book anime yeah. feel to it. Yeah. Um, even with like, yeah, the sound effects and the choreography, you know, it's, yeah. they're not trying to be like the most realistic, you know, sword fight on screen. You know, it's like they're, they're doing their own thing. And I thought that, I don't know, to be able to kind of get into that and just own it like that. It's, I think that's kind of refreshing in a way. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Um, yeah, I, I, I just think it's super cool, dude. I'm, I'm excited for part two. Same. I'm excited. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, full length reaction is going to be up to Patreon. The next week's reaction, Kill Bill Volume 2, is up for early access if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you all are new here, welcome. Hopefully you stick around. And if you do, we will see you all in the next video.